My channel so amanda harris sent me this unit this is a 24 inch stock wig it is a 13 by 4 lace front but it tapers off to the side this is your basic stock lace front the hairline is not pre-plugged you are going to have to go in and do that and i just wanted a little bit of color because when i did film this we were in the middle of summer and i wanted a little you know a little color something simple and easy that you all could do yourself so um i did comb out the wig I don't know if I said that if this was 24 inches, but it's 24 inches. I combed out the wig. Um, I applied bleach to the tips, okay? Um, tips in almost midway of the wig. Um, I am ver thoroughly saturating the hair with bleach. You don't want to be too dry, all right? And I'm just going to comb that in. This is a quick hairstyle, I mean hair color, because I didn't have time to like, you know, um, be precise so it's like a messy color that came out bomb all right so I'm gonna just make sure that uh, the bleach is uh, thoroughly uh, applied into the wig I flip it upside down I um, blend it up I apply some more uh, bleach I blend it some more and then I will fold the trash bag over the hair and let it process for about 15 minutes Oh, I did not tell you guys, but I did use 30 volume developer and quick blue. So this is what the hair looks like after 15 minutes of processing. I'm going to go in with some more of my bleach. I'm going to reapply it and blend it up a little bit more so it can have that nice gradient effect. And after I do that, I am going to um, put the trash bag right back over it and let it process for another 15 minutes. So um, you definitely wanna use, a lot, not a lot of bleach, but you wanna be generous when it comes to the amount of bleach that you use because you wanna make sure that there's no dark spots um, in the color, especially when you're coloring like this, like this is the lazy way. Like I, I just be like, ugh, girl. And I was in the process of moving too, so um, yeah, like I just, I wanted to hurry up and put a wig on because I was looking a little bit of, uh, kind of shabby and I and I have places to go and stuff to do so I needed to look somewhat decent so I needed my hair done so I was like all right we're gonna do a little quick color So I'm making sure that I'm feathering the bleach up because like I said, I do want that ombre, that gradient effect without um, really having to go through the hair and like separating it. Like you just have to make sure that it is thoroughly saturated and feathered. It might look crazy, but it's going to come out nice at the end. Trust me. So I let it sit for another 15 minutes. When it's ready, I did go out and rinse it, wash the hair with a Garnier Fructis and silicone mix. I did not tone it. I liked the color that it was. And this was the outcome. I told you, she's beautiful. Do you feel me here, okay? And so um, I did go ahead and pluck it and do the baby hairs off um, camera. But this is what it is, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and do the install. This is simple install. I love the products that I'm using to install this hair. Um, in order to maintain my waves, I just use mousse. I don't like heavy products at all. Um, if you ever got your hair done from me or by me, you know that I do not use heavy products because I like my hair to be flowy. Okay, so I'm going on. I'm going ahead and um, just basically uh, trying the wig on, making sure that it fits appropriately making sure that I put the baby hairs in the right spot. I'm gonna go ahead and clip the lace so I, it's easier for me to apply this wig down. And for adherence, I am gonna use a liquid gold. Liquid gold is a water-based serum adhesive from Bold Hold. 
um, America. And I love this because this is a temporary hold. If you sweat, I would not suggest this for you because this is a water base. So meaning if you wet it, it will slide, all right? So if you are not a sweater and you like to have your wigs on temporary, then this is the product for you. And you get a lot for about $20. Like that's a, a, lot, a big bottle for $20, all right? So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna apply that. I don't know what I was doing because I don't usually blow dry my liquid gold first. <laughs> I usually just lay my lace down, but I tried it this way and it really didn't make a difference to me because I still had to blow dry it anyway. So um, I blow dried it and then I'm going to lay the lace down. I suggest you apply your lace in sections because of the fact that this is a serum, meaning it does not have any uh, stickiness right out the bottom and it's runny. So if you apply this all over your hairline, it's not going to be sticky where it'll just stay down like a, a boho active or, or the boho original. So you'll definitely have to um, do it this in sections like I'm doing here. So I do the middle, the side, the side, then I'll go ahead and cut off the lace. And I'm going to use my eyebrow razor to just go ahead and cut off the excessive lace. Um, if you feel like your wig is too far down, then I usually just like kind of like pull it up a little bit without like, you know, pulling on your hairline or anything like that. And I'll just cut off the excessive lace. Um, as you see, I like to pin my baby hairs out the way because you can, you can and you will cut those if you do not move them out the way. And girl, I didn't pluck that part of my hairline just to cut it off. So I definitely pinned it up and get it, got it out the way. And yes, so after I cut the lace off, I'm gonna just go ahead with my spritz and um, lay the baby hairs down. So I like to use a baby hair brush. Um, this one is also from Boho. Um, boho and yeah so i got these baby hair brushes that i actually love um i love the comb i love the spatula that's on it because it does come with a spatula and i like to use that for my boho max but i feel like the actual uh handle for this is kind of big for my hands where it's hard for me to really like grip it the way that i like i want to i don't know if that makes sense like the actual stem that the part that i'm holding to do my baby hairs is thick and I, it's like it's just a weird hold for me so um other than that um i usually get my baby hair brushes from the beauty supply for like 50 cents to a dollar and they all do the same thing you know one is just made different than the other so like i said i use spritz to lay down my baby hair i don't like mousse i don't like um, got to be free spray because it's too sticky it's too thick and um, mousse will definitely lift up your hairline or your your lace if you're not careful with it because it is water-based <laughs> so you definitely want to be careful with mousse and like I said got to be is very sticky so it just make your hairline look cakey and I just do not like that all right so I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side of my hairline So after everything is in place, I did use my free spray. I sprayed my entire hairline lightly and wrapped my uh, edges down with an elastic band until it dried. 
and once it dried I took the elastic band off I got my wax stick and I'm gonna use my hot comb just to like you know touch up my hairline because I, I started liking neat hairlines um, especially when it comes to curly hair because it, it's, it's just a more sleek and nice look so I'm just gonna take the press of comb and just go through the front of the hairline just to make sure that it's like really nice and sleek without pulling it through the entire hair because I don't want my hair to be super puffy. I just want the front of the hairline to be nice. And after I have the front of the hairline how I want to, I'm just going to go in and kind of separate the waves because they were clumped together because of how I, uh, um, the product that I put on them. And this is it. This is the out ending outcome of my hair. I love it. It's very summer vibes. And you can wear this all throughout the year. It's just bomb. Hey. <laughs> 